capturing and syncing remote audio sources directly in camera is usually an expensive and cumbersome pain in the butt. But today, I'm gonna to solve that problem for you. First things first, this is the brand new Nissan Z that you can actually finally start getting your hands on. My buddy Corey from over at GT Garage Talk agreed to come out and let me film some footage for him in exchange for letting me make this YouTube video with his borrowed car. This one is the manual transmission version of the Z. Let me quickly explain how we have this set up. We are using the DJI dual microphone, single receiver, wireless transmission system that feeds directly into the camera and syncs in the camera. We're gonna mount that receiver to the top of the camera. I'm using the Fujifilm X-T4. Mount it really carefully because it is a plastic cold shoe. Please don't break it. Now we're gonna pop the transmitter out and attach the wind muff because we are gonna be combating some wind. Now we're going to hook up the 3.5 millimeter jack to the out. Do not make the mistake that I have before and hook it up to the headphone monitoring port. It will sound like doo-doo butt cheeks. Now go to the transmitter settings inside of the receiver. Change your transmitter gain to as low as it will go, negative 12. Do not bother changing your receiver gain because that just kind of adjusts the volume of what's already in. If the audio clips on the transmitter side, it's lost forever. Before you start running, make sure you also are recording on the transmitter side. That way you have a backup. Inside my Fujifilm X-T4, it runs pretty hot on the audio, so I normally run it at negative 19.5 on the inside inboard of the camera. We're gonna mount this in a place where it's not directly in front of the exhaust, that way we don't get the exhaust wind to beat the crap out of the microphone, and we're gonna wanna put it in sort of a wind neutral area. Usually the center of that rear bumper has the least amount of wind. We have this now digitally transmitting to the camera and feeding directly into the camera. So as something happens visually, it's also synchronized audio wise. You can use your second one to do speaking audio and all that stuff. It's mounted on a tilt to Hydra shock mount with a custom vibration isolator. You can see that this thing right here, I actually go off on a little bit of a dirt trail as he stays on the road. It is crazy what you can get with this setup here. I'm playing this twice so you can look at it once on the GoPro, once on the real camera version, but it's absolutely crazy. And the whole time as he's going around this corner, the audio and video is synchronizing in camera live. Let's hop into DaVinci Resolve, which is my editing software of choice. Right here, you can see that because it's set up in stereo, each mic is a separate stereo channel. Channel one is left, channel two is right. So we only have channel one left side audio. Let's fix that. We're gonna go into clip attributes and change both of the left and the right tracks to play audio from channel one. So basically we're duplicating the left track over to the right track so that we are pumping out stereo. But now the audio is pretty quiet and the easiest way to adjust your audio automatically is we are going to normalize audio Audio levels for YouTube I do negative 1.5 and now your audio is now normalized which means the highest peak in your audio will not go over negative 1.5 decibels the advertised maximum transmission distance under ideal conditions is 300 meters but whenever you're asking this thing to transmit through an entire car we were getting about 50 meters before it would start to cut out as you can hear But then once you get back into range, the audio will clean back up and everything will be just fine. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll drop links down below to the equipment I'm using and I'll also put links in for the videos to show you guys the Tilta Hydra shock mount and the custom vibration isolator that I built. And I am doing a video on Tilta's new vibration isolator that you can order through Amazon or B&H to see how that compares to my custom rig. Thank you so much for watching this. Subscribe to stay on top of all the new content. Let me know if you got any questions in the comments down below and y'all have a great day.